in a slight pivot on the con on the kind of like writing side had you sent the manuscript out to many places before you sent it in for the Matilda Prize? Yes, I had sent it to a couple of places, I think maybe two, and I got really positive feedback. Um, you know, it was the kind of things where like we just aren't publishing any other young adult at this time or, or whatever, but actually they'd gone to the effort of actually pulling this, you know, really detailed feedback together of, of what they liked and didn't like, which I thought was actually really nice. So I think despite despite normally we're supposing you're supposed to be devastated by a no and a rejection I kind of feel like they were the loveliest of rejections um I didn't do anything differently because there wasn't anything super constructive in that way of you know rewrite the whole story or change mm. this ending or whatever um so I didn't really sort of respond by changing anything or doing anything differently because I felt like like I said they were they were positive rejections so I kind of still felt like there was a chance. I still mm. felt like there was this opportunity. It wasn't, it was a no, but it wasn't like this, no, we hated it, which kind of gave me a little bit of, I guess, encouragement to, to keep trying. And then I think when I saw the ad for the Matilda Prize, um, it just resonated. It just, you know, was you know searching for a new Australian voice and it was all about Australian stories and this, book was intentionally written in a very Australian setting and you know I didn't want to write it I didn't want it to be ambiguous I don't want it to be you know famous in the US like I want this to be an Australian story so I think when I read that entry I was like this is it this is the home like this is the home um for which it wasn't cut off my luck at the time but this is the mm. home for this uh, I mean not that I in any world thought that I would get close to winning so that was just a very big bonus that's well and congratulations you did um <laughs> you, and you must have had yeah that intuition was proven correct um can you talk to me about I like asking people who win prizes because I find sometimes I think it's a nice thing for other people to hear um what change did anything significant change in the story in the editorial process or did you learn anything in that process that uh, surprised you that you'll take with you moving forward there's so much to learn. This was a completely new world to me. It was so different and so new to, you know, the, the writing that I knew. And it was in pretty good shape, apparently. So it, it didn't have, um, it didn't have a huge kind of structural edit, but it was really interesting pulling it apart and having other people question a character's motivations or question a character's background and go, but why? And there are so many things as a writer that are in your head and you're like, because obviously mm. I know that doesn't mean a reader's going to know. So that was really interesting to have that different perspective and have a few things pulled out that just needed to be explained that I thought was really obvious or I thought made sense that just needed a bit more of an explainer for the reader. And I think, and just like little things like, Apparently I use very similar words, which had to get highlighted a few times throughout going, you use this word a lot. <laughs> Let's stop. <laughs> Let's find synonyms for this. <laughs> yeah, but I think mainly it was that just having fresh eyes and a new perspective. And, and it's so interesting just hearing how someone else perceives a character's intentions and, and yeah, story. Do you think your uh, journal background helped with that feedback process? Because you, you might be kind of used to getting pulled up on just the kind of craft side of things as opposed to maybe something a bit more kind of spiritual and creative that might be a bit more sensitive? Yeah, definitely. But in saying that, even as a journalist, it's never easy when someone critiques <laughs> your work. It's never easy when someone gets that red pen out and it's like, this sentence doesn't make sense, cut it out. You're like, oh, but I like it. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. yes and no, because it's never easy. But I think having experience with that kind of critique definitely helped.